Good job, Jenny. Thank you. Good job. Nice. Be tired? Yeah. Yeah, you have to be tired. Good job. Good job. Thanks. You guys are outstanding job. Thank you. It's pretty high intensity. Yeah. Good job. Well, what I what I wanted to show you is like really what is the tool all about? See with one tool we can work upper body and lower body and limit the amount of switching from one exercise to the another while we're doing a functional training. 10 seconds to 15 seconds in between the set we're able to hit about 10-15 reps per set. Short rest time about 10-15 seconds. Switch to the next exercise. We did the upper body. We did the legs. We hit the lungs. And we burned quite a calories, I, I believe. So great job. Let's have a good cool down with stretching exercises so we can we can finish. Feel that you're stretching your quad muscle right here. If you can extend this leg. Lean back as much as possible. Okay. Now sit on the back. Now massage a little bit. Our calves. Stay for about 15 seconds in that position and make sure your legs are straight and you feel the straight down your lower calf. Cross the ground. You can bounce a little bit from this position here, bounce. You're warmed up, don't worry about that, you can bounce. Try to extend that leg and make keep it straight. And arch. Head up, press your hips towards the ground. Legs together, tight butt, straight, straight legs. Arch more, press your hips towards the ground. Okay. Okay. Shake it off, stand up. About 10 times. Keep your butt back. Stay for a few, few sets, two, three seconds. Feel it. Now, if you're ready to pass your thighs here with the handles like this, watch. Not here, here. That would be the best. You feel your legs shake? Find that pain point, guys, and try to stay there for, for about five seconds. Yeah, don't Okay. Do you feel those attacks? <laughs> it's attack, it hurts, right? Take it off a little bit. Like three attacks of five seconds. Okay, one done. Can you touch the ground with your with the side handles? With the main handles? Go a little biking here, easy. Backwards. Down again, shake it off. I want to suggest a little bit of hip work here, so when the back is behind, kick your hips in a little bit. Elevate not only your elbows, but if you turn your wrists like this a little bit, you'll see that the back kind of goes nice and smooth behind.
And one of the best ways to feel that, how you use your hips, is when you use it from your knees, if you let your body bend forward a little bit, you see the back takes control. And at the same time, even when you do it, have, you, have they done uh, spinning from the knees at all? Not much. Not much? Try a few times. Same, use the momentum of the back. On the back is up here, pull it. Into one movement to make the, the spin more effective and then uh, spread the load. Not only are you doing it here with your lower back and your arms, but also give a little bit to your legs, your hips, to your arms, and then combine that that effort to works only to, to work towards one effort to the, to make the spin a lot easier for you and incorporate all the muscles. That's what we're trying to do. I mean, there's not some uh, swings or something like that. Okay, okay? Baseball swings. And I'm not a baseball player, so I don't know if they use their legs at all, but. If you call it arm throw, this is what I want you to think about. Working towards one movement. Using your legs and your upper body is the ideal for that action. But when I try to throw, I use my legs and my upper body. I pull, but I also try to pump the back off my shoulders. Okay? Now watch what happens. If I just do this, I'll give you a better example. If my dummy was legs are straight. Do you see that I will do the same thing from here? Watch that power. Tell me, do you think I can throw it from here? <laughs> okay, now watch. I'm gonna flip you and you see you just land on your feet, okay? I, I will not let you go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, ready? Okay, now what? Did you see my legs slightly bent? That's the power. Okay, now watch. I'm gonna do what? With straight legs. I can't throw until I load my legs. Okay. So that's what I want you to think about this movement when you do your arm throw to incorporate your legs and your upper body. So when you do this, when you're about to throw the back, use your legs. Swing it aside, reload. The head position also will add more power into your, into your throw. Yes, perfect. So don't be afraid to squat down a little bit more. Perfect. Bump it. That's exactly. Yes. <laughs> chest and then from here lower your level under the weight and bring it above your head right so now with this movement here what I try to recommend you is rather than bring the back here get your elbows this way and then from here try with no interruption to snatch the back and go under now for this reason, you might want to pull the back a little bit from behind your legs so you can get more momentum. Don't be afraid to use the momentum in this training. When we work for the grip, be more honest here with yourself. Use the legs. Use the legs. So, right from here. Elbows up. Also this one, 